Hello, I'm back. Happy Monday and pajama day. I'm wearing my sweatshirt, my sweatpants. I'm all comfy and cozy and ready to read a book to you. And in honor of it being spring now, I'm gonna read a book called Splish Splash Spring by Jan Carr and illustrated by Dorothy Donahue. And this is one of my favorite books for rhyming words. If you hear a rhyming word while I'm reading, a set of rhyming words, I want you to put your thumb up. Or since you're at home and you're not gonna be interrupting anyone at the carpet, like when we're in school, you can kind of just say, oh, I heard one. Whisper it so you can still hear what I'm saying. So this is a cool book because the pictures are actually paper cut out to make the pictures. It's really neat if you can see it in person. We have this book in our classroom too. But I don't know if you're going to get a chance to see it for a while. This is called Splish Splash Spring. It's kind of cute. It has lots of kites and there's some umbrellas and rain and clouds. I see a lot of that in the spring rain. A lot of things get rained out in the spring, like baseball practices and soccer. Splish Splash Spring by Jan Carr. Here's the title page. It has the name of the author and illustrator also. And there's a dedication page. This is where I start reading, where the words are. Spring is sloppy, so raindroppy. Stomp in puddles and splash about. So, sun comes peeking, hide and seeking. Days are playful, spring's a sprout. You can see birds in the tree. One has a worm, baby birds, there's umbrellas. Ooh, mud. See mud and frogs. Chit, chit, cheeping. Who's that peeping? Baby robins beg for bugs. There's the baby robins. Better dig one, get a big one. Grub up earthworms and slimy slugs. Hocus pocus, there's a crocus. Plucky petals brave the chill. These are flowers. Oh, I see another sign. Some bumblebees, a spider, a grass. Frilly silly daffodilly willy nilly down the hill. It's a lot of silly rhyming words. Definitely a sign of spring. Kites are swooping, loop-de-looping, snapping, flapping. Look at me! Have you ever flown a kite outside? What do we need to have a good kite flying session outside? Hmm, we need it to be windy so it'll keep it flying. Wind comes whipping, grip is slipping, tangle dangle up a tree. Uh-oh. That's no good. Boughs are bloomy, so perfumey, thunder threatens. Skip skidoo. Oh, that means that there's flowers blooming on the tree branches. Mm, they smell so perfumey, they smell so good. I haven't seen my trees bloom yet, but when they do, they look beautiful and they smell so nice. And thunder, I've heard that recently. Race the raindrops, window pane drops. I picked posies. Posies are the flowers. It's raining, they're rushing to get inside just for you. So they picked posies for someone. I wonder who that is. Maybe their teacher, maybe their neighbor, maybe their grandma, maybe their mom. Who knows? But that was nice. The end. 
I hope you enjoyed the story. Next time you're outside, you can look for signs of spring. I can hear some things too. When, this morning when I went outside, I heard lots of birds chirping. And of course, rain is another sign of spring. And look for worms after it rains or bugs that you don't normally see, like ladybugs, um, mud, muddy puddles. Maybe you could go play outside in some muddy puddles and splish splash in the springtime. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.